One of the required practicals we have to do with waves is to determine the velocity of the wave and we do that by measuring the frequency and the wavelength. I've got a ripple tank set up here, I've got a vibration generator going, it's making straight waves which you can see are moving across. I've placed two rulers, one at 90 degrees to the wave and this is so we can actually measure the wave length and then I've put another ruler, the green one, at basically parallel to the waves so we can count how many waves pass that in a certain time. So let's have a go at the practical. So if I start the stop clock and go now I'm going to try and count how many waves pass that line and it's particularly difficult to do that. So I'm going to try and make my life a little bit easier and I'm going to use a phone to do this. So this phone, what I'm just going to do with it is set it up to do a short bit of video and I'm going to set my video so I can put it in slow-mo. And I'm going to start. Now I need some sort of signal to go. Three, four, five and I've put a hand mark in there so I can see what's going on and then what I'll need to do is to rewind this and play it and what I need to do is get this video to the right place where my hand's going to come in and from where my hand comes in which is going to take longer than I hoped here we come, my hand coming in then we count 1, 2, 3, 4, 40, 41, 42 43, 44, 45. So I've got 45 waves. Now, 45 waves in 5 seconds, so I can divide that by 5, that gives me 9 waves a second. I can record that information, and then I want to have a look at the wavelength. And again, the easiest way is to run my little video and in fact all I have to do is to count the waves or alternatively what I can do is just go in and take a photograph of the waves which is probably a little bit easier to do so that's what I'm just going to do I'm just going to put my ruler my ruler ready I'm going to take a photo and if I take my photo and have a look at that, I can now count the distance between my waves. I'm going to have to zoom in quite a bit. So this one's at three and at really six. So it's about three centimetre wavelength. So I've now got two figures, my wavelength, I've got my frequency, and if we multiply those together, we can get our velocity in meters per second. What we do is we repeat the experiment several times, getting different frequencies, getting different wavelengths, and we should determine that the velocity will... Well, why don't you have a look and see? 